Hey, everybody. Maybe that was a little too quick. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave uh, with a mailbag special. We've been getting some lovely things through the mails from friends and patrons of Tested and others. And uh, I wanted to open up a couple of these for you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, well, not, not in any order of excitement. Uh, these are just three lovely, lovely pieces that we have received recently. Uh, and I wanted to go over them. Uh, two, I'm sorry, two, two lovely pieces. It's the end of the day and it's been a weird day. Sorry, I'm just a little bit fuzzy. But hi, here I have from Jens Anso of Anso of Denmark.com. Uh, I'm sending a little uh, care package to say thank you. Thank you for being you and thank you for all you do for the maker community. Um, and Jens is sending me a hammer. This beautiful hammer. I just built a hammer from garbage on the street. This is a real stunner of a hammer. And uh, Jens seems to have a A for Enso as their, as their logo type. It's a really nice little sort of armor mark almost. Um, the most important for me, uh, here's this hammer. I've been wanting to send you one of these for a while and just saw the recent video of the first order retrievability tool cart and seeing you have extra space for hammers told me it was the right time. And you are so right. Uh, I started restoring hammers a few years ago after being frustrated about the quality of modern hardware store hammers. I feel you. So I started buying up old hammers, especially from the brand Your Hammer is made by DSI or Danish Steel Industry. A now long gone company that made great tools up until the 90s. Incidentally, a DSI hammer was the first tool I bought with my own money in 1988. You never forget those things. You never forget those things. Uh, so how does this work? The hammer I sent you is most likely from the late 60s. I restored the head, reground the original handle to a modified shape I have come to love. This is an interesting thing. When I was making a hammer, I realized that there's all this subtlety to the shape of the handle of a hammer. Uh, and here's what I found. No, I'm not talking to you. My watch is suddenly loading up lists of hammers for me. Um, where was I? Ah, yes, the handle shape. That there is a gestalt, a, a relationship between the hammer head and the handle that is really important. And that when you get it right, when it is correct, the whole thing sings both visually and from a balance standpoint. So Jens uh, reground the the handle to be a shape that they love. I think that's awesome. I make these hammers for makers around me that I respect, and it's a way for me to be creative without being driven by money. I call it Enso Hammerworks. Never sold, always given. I hope it will come into good use in your shop. Enso, thank you so much. This is absolutely magnificent. Um, it's a gorgeous hammer. Your regrinding of it is just stellar. Oh, it's a really, it's a lovely piece. Well, let's get some B-roll of it. And then, uh, well, I think we all know how this, this is going to finish, right? Yep. You know what's happening. It's going in. It's going in. Um, the question is, where does it go in? Oh, uh, it can go. Hang on. Hey, 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 you, ooh, you step, ah, right. Um, here we go. Oh, wait, <sighs> that's it. And there she blows. Jens, I love this ethos of you buying hammers and fixing them up and giving them to makers. I think that is a really beautiful morality to have around tools and the distribution of them. And I may borrow this idea from you at some point in the future, because it is just so nice. I think everyone should be doing something like this. Um, always given, never sold. Years ago, there was a fine artist, and I can't remember their name, who insisted that their work only be given away uh, or, or traded, but not sold. I really can't remember the parameters of the story beyond that, but I remember it caused some controversy. Uh, and I love removing commerce.
from the equation of beautiful objects that can help us make other beautiful objects. Thank you for that. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick my measuring forearm uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body because I use mine every single day.